So about a week or so ago, I managed to see a bit of a dent on the front screen on my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. I was a bit nervous. I didn't know what caused it actually. And uh, my best guess would be probably it was my newborn daughter chewing on the front screen. We all know that babies does that. Or maybe it was the key uh, mixed with my phone in the pocket that caused it. But anyhow, I was a bit nervous. I peeled out the front screen uh, protector, but it turns out the actual original screen was good as gold. So that was a really good news for it. But anyhow, I decided to use this opportunity to see what sort of screen protectors are available. And apparently there's a product called Upscreen that is uh, available in, in Amazon in a really good price actually. And this is the Spy Shield Clear range. And the reason, there are two reasons I bought it, which is that it gives you this function of privacy protection, which in other words, if someone is actually sitting next to me, want to stare at my screen, they won't be able to figure out unless they directly look at my screen, which is brilliant. So it's adding another function to uh, my uh, phone, but there's also the scratch protection for 2H. I don't know what that means, but anyhow, bubble free installation. So we're going to find that out and also the delicate touch. So we'll find out the sensitivity of the touch level and it's easy cleaning as well. But I'm sure I saw somewhere that is also a fingerprint proof. In other words, it's not gonna show fingerprint on your screen. So we'll also find that out. But anyhow, enough said, let's get into the unpackaging and installation. So here it goes. Nicely done. And if we were to take it out, okay. Immediately I can see that this is for the, yeah. Ah, it's actually thinner. So immediate reaction for this actual screen protector is that it has the rounded edge you can see there, but it has the pointy on the other side. Same applies to the top as well. And it almost fit into the um, Spigen uh, case, but because of the pointy edge here, I have to unfortunately take it out. But anyhow, let's get onto that later on. It also comes with this mounting kit. So if we were to tear it off, What's inside? Oops, I actually tear off the other one as well. So we got the usual um, dust, uh, get rid of the sticker kind of thing, and also the wet pad cloth, and also the, um, I think this is for, you know, finding it up, getting rid of bubble and etc. And that's pretty much it actually. Uh, case, so we got the actual, wow. Okay, let's get rid of the, dust so you can see a lot of dust in there just get rid of it as much as you can this is seven seventy percent alcohol as well um, so let's clean that let's actually dry it up once again so I can see there dust 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 okay so it actually doesn't embrace the uh, the rounded edge is only the flat side of it, but ah, so you peel it off. I can still see dust here. Always gather dust, this sort of screen. And the moment of truth. Okay, so you can see that it's actually getting sealed. Can you see that? Right. And then I guess I have to scrape it with this. Yeah, it's not perfect, is it? So that's quite clear, but unfortunately we got a bit of a bubble on the bottom and a bit of a gap on the top as well. Maybe because I haven't actually put it in the right place, but you can see that it is, it's not really completely seals off. It's only the flat surface. And I actually matched it with the edge here, but I hope the actual case itself would push it down, but I'll try to sort out the bubble side as well. Ah, so you actually need to push it. And then if you push it with hard, the bubble will actually be pushed out. That's very good. So they are actually um, keeping with, it actually says what it says on the tin. Would it fit? That's the worrisome here. And it does. Well done. 
So the pros on this screen protector is that yes, it will definitely protect your privacy. So if you were to angle it more than about five to 10 degrees, someone won't be able to see what you're looking at, which is very good. They're probably gonna think you're insane because you're staring at a black screen in their point of view, but you know, in fact, you're looking at a proper screen. Um, and also it's a harder material. So you know it's gonna protect more than the regular film. This actually feels like almost like a card. And that's why I think that's what they're saying about you can get easily get rid of the air bubble because it's more firm, hard quality material. Um, and also it's um, the fingerprint as well. It's actually gather less than the, your regular screen, which is what exactly what I expected. But the downside is that it immediately brings down the quality of your screen. That's the biggest downside for me actually, because if you look right into it, uh, you can see this sort of like almost 15 degrees of line going all the way through the screen and it actually makes your screen pixelated so it brings down the quality of your screen um, also um, there's a thin line if you actually apply your uh, speed again this is actually the third time i tried it trying to not make the line show but unfortunately if you apply your speed in case s pen case you will eventually see a very thin line of the original screen of the original brightness uh, within it and speed in case doesn't seem to like this screen protector, unfortunately, because it's the third time again. Uh, on the second time when I applied it, it was constantly pushing the right hand side top of it. So those are the things, compatibility with your speaking case, you have to be careful. Not It's not that it doesn't suit, but you have to be careful with it. Um, but any products has pros and cons. Uh, you either, you can't get all the perfect one, but if you're focusing on the privacy of your screen and more harder protection this is definitely the screen protector you should get but it's not going to be perfect uh, be warned that there will be a the the actual screen protector because it's harder material it's not going to cover the whole screen and um, you have to be very careful with your speaking case or maybe maybe any other phone case as well so I hope this video actually demonstrates the reality of the screen protector. I mean, overall, I'm very happy with it. I look forward to use it, but you have to get used to it. It's just those that immediate use, you tend to see all the bad side of it. But once your eye get used to all the use, um, you, you get used to it. But yeah, for me, I think one of the biggest downside is that it actually brings down the quality of the screen, which is one of the import important thing. But on the plus side, I know in fact that someone sitting next to me won't never figure out what I'm looking at, which I really like as a function for the screen. So I hope this video clarify what this screen protector is about, but if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.